am Lady Charmaine, the founder of the Facebook group, Black Sisters Making Friends. And this is Sisters in Business. And today I'm highlighting another one of our amazing sisters. She is a business owner who makes delicious buttery toffee that melts in your mouth and makes you want to put on 20 pounds in the year 2020. I want to introduce to you one of our Black Sister Making Friends members, Miss Sheila Roberts. And hello, Sheila, and welcome to the show. Lady Charmaine. <laughs> Well, I'm so glad to have you today. You know what? I really admire your business because I found you right there on my Black Sisters Making Friends group. So thank you so much for being a part of the group and on Mondays. You. You're welcome. Now, on Mondays, for those who may not know, I do a post that's called Minding My Business Mondays. And underneath that post, you can post your business or your events. And that is where Sheila Roberts posts her business, which is One Love Toffee. So Sheila, I want to say thank you so much for your post. But my first question to you is, why did you decide to join the Black Sisters Making Friends group? Because I want to be part of a group of ladies who support one another. So when you came to the group, what did you find? Oh, a lot of <laughs> wonderful businesses, um, mm -hmm. a lot of support. People leaving messages with one another, supporting each other. And that was big for me. Uh, you know, and that's the one thing that I love, too, that women are in there and they're in there and they're encouraging one another. And um, I did a movie night and you did something that was so special. Now, under the Minding My Business post, I saw that you made toffee and I love a good toffee. And when I was like, toffee? You make toffee? <laughs> I did. You make toffee. And you came to one of my movie nights and you brought me a bag of toffee. Absolutely. That was the worst thing you could have ever did. <laughs> I tasted your toffee and it gave me chills up and down my spine. It was so buttery. It was per it had the perfect salt, sweet. It was it was not too hard, not too soft. Mm -hmm. It just mm -hmm. melted in your mouth and mm -hmm. all the pieces because you gave me a variety, which was wrong. Because okay. all of them was good. And, so, <laughs> and of course, I let people taste it. That was you know, that were guests at the movies. And then mm -hmm. I did a Black Sister Making Friends event at the house. And you brought some more toffee, which was all kinds of wrong. So, <laughs> so I want to talk to you about your toffee. How did you even come up with the recipe? Was it a family recipe? Were you just playing in the kitchen one day? No, I, uh, my cousin mm -hmm. gave me the recipe. Okay. And throughout the years, I've been making it for like 100 years. So throughout the years, I've kind of tweaked it, mm -hmm. um, less sugar and some other things. But yeah, so she's the one who gave it to me. And through the years, I perfected it and everyone loves it. So tell us about the business. How did you turn it into a business? Because, you know, people have a, a love for baking or they can cook, but that's just what they do. But they don't turn it into a business. How did it morph into a business? Um, friends and families always tell me I need to quit my day job. <laughs> and focus my effort on making toffee full time. And since I couldn't quit the day job at the time, when I retired, I decided, let me try it out and see what I can do with it. And that's what started the ball rolling. And that was about three years ago. Now, how did you come up with the name? Because it has a unique name. It's called One Love Toffee. Love the name. Where did that come from? One Love, because I believe that we're all part of the, the same creator. Mm -hmm. And, um, it was important to me that it was my brand is inclusive of everyone. Mm -hmm. And as on the um, my logo, it shows a picture of um, I don't know if you did or not, uh, probably not, but it has different character people holding hands, all different colors and it's around the world. So that's what gave me. I knew um, and I wanted my brand to be a human kindness. So the logo, like I say, um, and then the concept for my brand, like I said, is based on human kindness. Mm -hmm. And I kn knew that, I know that words are powerful. Right. So on all of my packaging, you will find an inspirational quote. Mm. And it's meant to uplift you. Um, my brand is about being of service to one another and giving back. And... We're in an um, age now where information is at our fingertips. We're so busy on our phones that we forgot how to be human. Right. How to, when I was growing up, you knew your neighbor. Um, 
you helped your neighbor. Nowadays, you don't know your neighbor. Yep. And and can care less about knowing them. <laughs> so we lost our humanity. Although we have technology, along the way we kind of lost our humanity. Right. And I wanted my brand to. When you read a quote, it kind of put you in the moment, gave you pause and like, oh, and it could uplift your day. So if I'm having like the empowerment one, it says, um, oh Lord, let me say, <laughs> it, um, beauty comes from within. Embrace your un- uniqueness, dare to live in your skin. And when I thought of, when I made that quote, I thought about kids in school who felt different and felt like they didn't belong. And so it was giving them permission to be who you are Mm -hmm. and to dare to be who you are. Right. And so, yeah, so that's what kind of morphed into all those things. Now, I know you have a beautiful logo. Does it look like it it represents all nationalities that sort of appears on your logo? Now, did you have a hand in creating the logo? I did it all myself. Did you? So you created everything yourself. (laughs) Oh, Everything. beautiful. Mm-hmm. Now, what flavors do you offer in your talk? I have um, simply um, dark, no, simply um, bittersweet dark chocolate, mm. sweet, creamy milk chocolate, mm-hmm. luscious white chocolate, and buttery rich almond toffee with no topping. Mm. I, I love it. It just sounds so savory. Yeah. <laughs> so, so savory. So, I have there where people can go and get your toffee. All you have to do is go to www.onelovetoffee.com. And mm-hmm. so, and, and where, where are there other places they can get your toffee or just online? No, um, no, but I'm excited to announce. Um, for the last three years, I have a cottage license. So it allows me to make toffee at home, but it does not allow me to ship it. So, I've been, I have people from South Carolina that come in, visit, take tons of toffee back because they knew they couldn't get it anymore. Mm-hmm. And um, Colos, a lady had sent me an email and she was at Colos um, Soul Food on Del Paso. Um, Kevin and Tamar, they were, uh, had gave them, gave a sample to one of their customers. And the lady doesn't live in Sacramento. She lives in Petaluma. I get the email saying, oh, my God, it's the best toffee I've ever tasted. I, I Is there any way you can send it to me? I'm like, at this time, I cannot send. So long story short, I just put in my application so I can start shipping. kitchen, And I will be shipping shortly. So I'm excited. You need to be shipping that toffee because the toffee is yeah. that good. So I'm so happy, and especially like yeah. for holidays and birthdays and God got a way of opening up doors. So I'm so happy for you Absolutely. because I'm telling you, whoever wants it should be able to get it. They should have access to this coffee. And I want to make sure that everybody go online to onelovetoffee.com. Preferably, you'll be able to have some locations here in Sacramento and in different cities where you are able to literally distribute your toffees. It is the toffee that needs to be distributed. Thank you. Because it doesn't, it doesn't taste like it was, you know, like um made in a factory it's it's so delicious it literally tastes like it's mass produced but with love yep that's it yeah. and, <laughs> and i am so like i said proud of what my brand represents and that's the giving back and being there for one another that is so beautiful. And again, I want to make sure that everyone go to go online to onelovetoffee.com. Make sure you check out my girl, Miss Sheila Roberts. It is so delicious. Again, it is so delicious. And I want to make sure that everybody sees the packaging. The packaging right there is beautiful. As you can see, it's made with love. She says she created everything that's there. So again, I just want to say thank you so much, Miss Sheila. It's always a pleasure, you know, just thank even knowing you and just having you on the show today to be able to highlight you. So I just want to say thank you so much. Thank you, Lady Charmaine, for having me. You are so welcome. And you definitely have a blessed day, okay? You as well. (laughs) Bye-bye.